Hi, Rob Butcher with Stud Welding Products. Today we're at the Stud Lab and we're gonna go over what's called reverse side markings. So reverse side marking is like one of the number one questions we get at trade shows and customers that are acquiring. And it really comes down to what kind of marks are gonna be on the back side of my material once I weld the stud. And today we're gonna to take a look and kind of go over some of the guidelines that we use. So what we do is we look at the diameter of the stud that you're welding and the thickness of the material that you're welding to. And that kind of tells us what kind of marks are gonna be left on the reverse side. All right, so what we also, we've come up with a chart and you can find this on our website. And, but it basically will show you what diameter stud you're welding, how thick your plate is, and the different types of material that um, you're welding to. And it kind of gives you a guideline of whether or not your reverse side marking will be acceptable. So let's show you how it works. A nice strong weld good weld there and then we'll flip it around and you can see there's no markings on the back side well there's a little bit of a dimple but pretty much uh, no markings all right and now we're going to shoot the same number 1032 stud to a 12 gauge piece of mild steel and as you see there's no reverse side markings so the plate thickness has a a lot to do with whether or not you'll see the marks, but also the size of the stud. If I were to shoot a 3 8 stud, you'd start seeing the marks on there. All right, sometimes you get applications where they're requiring a mirror finish on the back side. So this is protected for now, but we're gonna shoot a stud on a piece of sheet metal that is basically the same thickness as what we did here. and got no markings. We're gonna shoot a couple studs here. Take a look at the back side and see what kind of reverse side markings you get with a polished finish. Let's take a look. All right, so we're loading up the 1032 stud again. See the welds are the same. We're using the same voltage, same everything as we did on the last piece. And now we'll take a look and see what the marks are on the back side. And as you can see, we use the same diameter stud, the same material thickness, but this is a polished finish and you can definitely see a blemish uh, much more than you can on something that's not. Still have questions about reverse side markings? Go to our website at www.studwellprod.com. There you're gonna find a link to this chart. It shows, gives you a guideline on what would be acceptable and not acceptable. And then there's also a contact button that you could hit. Reach out to us, let us know your application, and you could even send us samples and we'll shoot some studs on for you so you'll see exactly what kind of markings you'll get on the backside. Thanks for joining. Catch you next time.